Right guys, welcome back. We've done three 16 markers in a row now, so I thought I'll give you a bit of a rest from the essays. So, schizophrenia question seven is an eight marker on family dysfunction from the 2017 paper. But it's not an eight mark essay, it's an eight mark outline and apply question. So it's something a bit different. Okay, so let's get right into it. And if you find this video useful, a like would be amazing. Right, your question looks like this. We've got a nice stem about Jack, who's just been diagnosed with schizophrenia and has a bit of a tricky home situation. We're then asked to describe the family dysfunction explanation for schizophrenia and explain how Jack's experiences can be linked to it. Okay. Now, straight off the bat, the stem gives us loads of content that just screams out family dysfunction which, as you all know, is all about poor communication processes in the family, high levels of negative emotions, and very cold and harsh parenting. In terms of the specific theories that you can link to Jack, you've got the schizophrenic mother, the double bind hypothesis, and negative expressed emotion. So the trick here is to be able to pick out which parts of the stem go with which explanation for family dysfunction. Now, on the upside, there are several parts of the stem that could be used for different explanations, and there is quite a lot of overlap as well, so don't worry if you're looking at it thinking that it's not clear cut and that the same thing can potentially be used for more than one theory. That is the case, but that is also quite nice. You've just got to spend a little bit of time planning what it is you're going to use for which theory. Something that's worth noting is that at the time, the examiners referenced that whilst students often manage to describe theories of family dysfunction, they also often fail to make the link between particular dysfunctions like high expressed emotion and double binds and behaviours typical of schizophrenia. And only students who fully explored that link in their answers achieved the higher level marks. OK, so it's really important that you are putting something in your answer that actually explains how the particular dysfunction or how the particular theory that you're talking about actually links to schizophrenia and ends up producing symptoms of schizophrenia or schizophrenia in general. Okay, so make sure that you talk about that in your answer. Okay, so let's go back to the question and have a go at writing an answer. Obviously, if you wanna have a go at this by yourself before I reveal the answer, then pause the video now and give it a go. So the way I'm going to attack this is to produce some outline content and then follow it up directly with some application rather than doing all of my AO1 and then all of my AO2. So I'm first going to give a brief introduction to family dysfunction and explain what it actually means. OK, there it is. I can then link to bits of the stem and provide application, effectively providing evidence for what I'm saying. You know, things like references to arguments and controlling behavior and that kind of stuff. My second bit of outline is then going to be on the double bind hypothesis right there. And then I'm going to follow that up with some application about how mum is full of contradictory behavior and very hard to please. OK, and then finally, I'm going to talk about the presence of negative expressed emotion and link it to mum again. OK, now remember that you need to try and link your theories to the onset of schizophrenia or to symptoms of schizophrenia. So please make sure that you're doing that as often as possible. In my answer, I did it for negative expressed emotion and for the double bind hypothesis. But I didn't do it for my first paragraph because the first paragraph was mainly about what family dysfunction actually is. OK, but if you look in the second paragraph, it makes reference to the fact that double binds can lead to disorganized thinking and paranoia. And in the final paragraph, it talks about how the presence of negative expressed emotion can cause high levels of stress, which then can cause a schizophrenic episode or it can cause relapse as well. So with the double binds, I'm referencing specific symptoms, whereas with negative expressed emotion, it's more about the onset of schizophrenia specifically. OK. Also, try to think ahead a little bit before you start writing a question like this and try to minimize the amount of repetition that occurs within your answer. There is enough information in the stem for you to not need to reuse the same content, even though the content has a little bit of overlap between theories. Obviously, if you do it once or twice, it's not the end of the world, but try as best you can to use new content and to kind of just think about what it is that you're going to write. 
So just before we finish off, I'll put the mark scheme up as well as this was requested by one of my students. So I hope that this is useful. As a general rule, the AQA mark schemes aren't always the easiest to navigate because there's often so many possible ways that you can go about answering a question. Um, but hopefully seeing the mark scheme together with the model answer is helpful because you can see what I've used and how I've used it. So you can see the bits I've included in my outline here in the red box. As you can see, I haven't covered all of the possible content. I've left the schizophrenic mother out, for example, but that's okay. You don't have to cover everything. You just choose the things that you feel like you can talk about. And then you've also got my application bits in the blue box so that you can see which bits I talked about as well. Okay, so that is the end of the video. I hope it's been useful and I hope it's all made sense. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.